new season of Sea of Thieves is almost here. Almost bringing with it a new <laughs> Challenging puzzles to solve as you uncover the secrets of the ancients. And incredible rewards to earn along the way. So let's turn up the heat as we burn through all of the details of what's in store in Sea of Thieves Season 13. Captain Flameflirt has returned to the Sea of Thieves, and his flagship, the Burning Blade, has been reawakened to scorch its way across the waves. In this new world event, you'll have to face off against a crew of Flameheart's obsidian skeletons as you battle this mighty warship. But taking it down won't be easy. The Burning Blade is the most powerful ship in Sea of Thieves. It has ten cannons. It's impervious to attack from fire-based weapons. And using the Ashen Roar, it can launch devastating balls of fire. But if you and your crew have the skill to secure victory, you'll be presented with a choice. Stand in defiance of Flameheart and sink his flagship, or choose to pledge yourself to the notorious skeleton captain and fall under his service as the new crew of the Burning Blade. If you do choose to take control of the Burning Blade, you'll have to say goodbye to your old ship. So make sure any treasure and resources are transported across to your new warship before they sink into the depths. As the crew of the Burning Blade, you'll need to stay alert, as your location will be visible to all of the other pirates across the Sea of Thieves. You are now the world event, and you'll have to be ready for attacks from other crews. Thankfully, you'll get a helping hand from the Obsidian Skeletons as they assist you in defending and maintaining the Burning Blade. As you set sail in service of Captain Flameheart, you'll have to journey across the waves to complete rituals and collect the knowledge of the Ancients, and in doing so, increase the value stored within the ship. But whether you're completing rituals with the Burning Blade, or you're looking to put a dent in Captain Flameheart's grand plans, you'll have to travel to the new skeleton camps that have appeared throughout the seas. The Obsidian Skeletons loyal to Flameheart have constructed these camps in order to extract artifacts from the ancient temples hidden deep Some below the surface. Here. Like sea forts, these camps can be active at any time, and oh, any oh, crew oh, the oh, oh, no, of the no, 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 oh god, no! Them. Descend below the skeleton camps and you'll discover ancient temples. In order to open the crypt vault within each temple, you'll have to work together with your crew to solve challenging puzzles, aligning points on a star chart to reveal hidden constellations. If you successfully open the crypt vault, you'll discover that the Reapers have begun a ritual using corrupted orbs of secrets. With the ritual successfully stuttered and the orb in your possession, you can take it to the trading companies and sell it for a tidy profit. If you're in control of the Burning Blade, how long you spend out on the waves is up to you, and there's no limit to the amount of rituals you can complete. But once you're ready to return the Burning Blade, Head to the Reaper's hideout, where Captain Flamefart will be waiting. Rise, loyal servants of the one true king! <laughs>